I just thought I'd share where I'm at. I'm actually running out of string, so what do I do? I'm going to finish my last stitch over here and back. I always want to finish in the back with enough string to tie a knot. So this is where I started here. I'm going to take the needle out and in this case I'm going to split the threads and tie my double knot. All right, make an X. This is review from when we did our sketchbooks. Pull that string through and pull it tight. So I did a double knot. I am going to cut these extra strings just so they don't get in my way. I'm going to cut it pretty close to the to where the at least close to where the knot is. My knot's a little bit raised. So now if I get in there close, you can see my start and stop. And you can see the back. I'm not grading the back, so if the back is messy, I don't care. I'm trying to keep it neat to avoid knots from forming when you're embroidering. And so far, I just kind of meandered from here across trying to keep my direction of my uh, embroidery string going in the right direction. So now I'm just kind of going to kind of start over again with that extra string, the other half of my string from before, where again I'm going to put my needle threader, the little end, through the needle, hook that string through there like that, and then pull it through, again pinching where the string comes in and then pulling that. So I'm always leaving a short tail like this, you don't want to tie a knot at the top because otherwise the needle's not going to go through. So I'm going to see where do I want to start. I want to start where kind of this next part here. So in that intersection there, I'll put my needle, come through, pull that, and then when I go to the back, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot like you would on a balloon where you make a loop, put that string through that loop. And that's also how you would change color. Say I was done with the red and I'm ready for the yellow. You just cut it off the needle and pull that tight. I'm going to put a little bit of that extra string. It's a little bit long. Again, just so that it doesn't distract me as I'm sewing. And there, so now that's nice and tight. And I'm going to continue with this direction kind of going back and forth. And again, what I'm doing is from the back, I'm just putting the needle really close to where I just came out so that I'm just zigzagging, filling in the space where I want it to be red. Okay, oops, and I accidentally grabbed the start there. There we go, keep going.